Allah there's so many good things that I learn in the Quran but how come macam people is always macam benda yang lain yeah. uh, kan so I said you know I want I want to then I wanted to okay I wanted to go out and tell people and buang perception yang taboo about the Quran like the Quran ni is it's special for people yang religious you know mm. macam people yang dia mesti kena ustaz dan ustazah mm. walhal the Quran ni Allah send down to everybody if you are a muslim not yet a muslim if you if you are um, you know you wear hijab you doesn't wear hijab you understand it you doesn't understand it it meant for everybody so i wanted to go out and tell people no everybody should just open up the Quran you know mm. it, it it does not i mean it, it's not going to change you i mean like, it's not going to um macam kita banyak sangat um, the taboo perception macam oh tak boleh yeah. tak boleh pegang ha, apa benda semua kan so you made it difficult and people people jadi far away from the religion like, because we made it difficult mm. when we say Islam and say um, easy religion you know? I mean religion yang we get it so that's where um, the whole thing Quran Tech Girl came in when I started my Quran Tech and then I started doing my workshops and all so yeah and so I faith is to um I think I mean personally in mm. Islam itself mm. um we have the six pillars of faith okay yeah. so the faith is is entirely believing on some you know believing in things although it, it doesn't make sense although it, it doesn't it doesn't comply to your understanding or the understanding of your um, knowledge you know I mean and I mean basically that's what I hold faith into me. You know, I have never my whole life I've never thought like I wanted to become an author, you know. Even though uh, throughout writing the book, I have always doubt myself like can I actually finish it in fourteen days? Like uh, is there anybody gonna read my book? You know, like would anybody buy? What what would they think about me? You know, that kind of thing. But you know what makes me go I mean what make, what keeps me going was actually faith. Um, what keeps me going was actually faith in Allah because I felt like you know because I did the, I mean through the Quran we, we understand so many things that Allah talks about faith and one of the many things as Allah says um, you know uh, nothing that um, good deeds that you do that is not going to be rewarded so I thought like you know there's nobody's going to write it or something you know whoever yang dapat benda ni dapat bayi okey lah macam tu tu mm-hmm. you know and and what keeps me going is like faith because i thought macam if it's not if it's not for allah i mean if it's not for allah i wouldn't be where i am today mm-hmm. and if he chose this path for me it means he knows that i can do it mm-hmm. so why am i doubting myself now okay <laughs> so let's go and keep on it so my my understanding i mean my hold to faith is to actually just do things like even though you you cannot see whether it's gonna make sense or it doesn't make sense does it logic or not but just keep going because that is where Allah is with you and that's where you have that faith and you keep on moving because you know you have Allah mm-hmm. okay um it wouldn't be fair to ask this question because actually there's so, so many, many. <laughs> yeah, there's so many. I think the whole Quran makes so much sense. But as I was saying just now, um, I'm more Shabaya who will always be the one in Surah Al Quran that Allah says, "La yukallifu Allahu nafsan illa musaha." So Allah says He cannot, He wouldn't bear something that you cannot hold. Mm-hmm. You know, He would not give you something that you cannot carry. So every single time when I went through things in life, you know, when I was writing the book, when I'm when I'm, you know, everything, you know, everything, I will always be reminded by that ayat. And I always tell myself, you know, if Allah says that you can hold things, you know, because I believed in you, mm-hmm. you know, I believe in you, that's why I give you this situation, I give you this particular situation. And why are you doubting yourself that you cannot do it? You know, every single time when I went to, you know, when I was like this book, that was like the horror part of my life, like, I I I created like so many excuses not to finish it because at one point I was just like so much I'm that the idea I I I was like what am I doing I'm playing that tulis ni ada macam terbuka lah kan yeah I sit down and I said to Allah Allah you know you you put me 
into this project you know because you trust me mm-hmm. and I don't trust myself now you know I don't trust myself that I can do but because you are trusting me you trust me so much you put me in this situation I'm gonna finish it anyway you know so that is and I, I will always go back and remind myself Ya Allah la you kalifu Allah kuna said ila was aha you know Aisha Allah ni dia tak akan bear you kalau you tak boleh buat tak adalah dia bagi sebab you boleh buat lah sebab tu lah dia bagi ya kan so I will always remind myself that part of the ayah and it's very I think it's it's very general that you can actually put it in into any situation in your life mm-hmm. inshallah